in the kitchen. Oh, you two should be hugging. Should be hugging. That's what's going on here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's much better. I can come over. Jax Hamilton, how are you? I'm so good, Mr. Brew. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, have you ever worked with Mark before? Well, mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sounds like I've entertained, but it's never worked. Yeah, we've done stuff before. You've done stuff yeah, before. Can we mark? Yeah, just not in the kitchen. You go just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to be making one of your recipes from this fantastic cookbook, which we've come to love over the last week. Eat well, live well. Yeah. Diabetes New Zealand's book. Not only a great book for people with diabetes, but also just a great book for great eating for the entire family. Affordable recipes, tasty recipes. What are you making today from it, Jess? So We've got a banging recipe today, yeah. banging, lots of mm -hmm. flavour. Yes. So we're doing a lovely um, cashew nut and basil pesto. Yum. And then we're going to roast some salmon and then we're going to toss some lovely seasonal vegetables mm. in the pesto and it's going to be a beautiful plate of food. Oh, brilliant. Look yes. at that. That's the finished product. Let's hope it looks like that by the time we've finished. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's going to be delicious and Jax will talk us through the recipe later in the show. Well, here we are in the Beko kitchen with Jax Hamilton. How are you, Jax? You know what? I'm really good, thank it's you. so really good, good to see you. You. I can feel the energy already. I was watching some of your video clips actually last night. You are crazy. Um, but in a good way, a good cooking way. What, is that what you do at night? <laughs> yeah, just, just, just watch your video. Oh, calm down. I watch know, so I'm very excited. Excuse me if I get a little bit sweaty. Okay. Uh, so what are we going to be making from Eat Well, Live Well? So we are making a beautiful really healthy salmon dish. Oh, yum. So we're using some really lovely um, seasonal vegetables. Mark here is chopping them up with his Japanese knife. Nice. And we're going to put them in the tray. <laughs> yes. Um, all together, roast them all up, and we're going to do them all the same size, which is lovely. They'll cook the same size. Um, and then afterwards, we're going to put the salmon on top. I know. Mm. And then we're going to make a pesto. We're going to toss the vegetables in the pesto because the pesto is instant flavour. Oh, nice. So all that's going to be infused with the salmon and all the vegetables together. It's just like a one-pot wonder. It is kind of like a one-tray oh, wonder, yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. One-tray yeah. wonder. One wonder. Yeah. What made you want to get involved with Diabetes New Zealand campaign? Because it's Diabetes Awareness Month. And this book, can I just say, I've learned over the past week, not only great for diabetics, but just great for everyone who wants to live well. Yeah. What made you want to get involved? Well, my mother, back in home in England, and she's a diabetic. Right. Um, so I've watched her kind of go through how she looks after herself. And I know that it's a quite a fast growing um, health crisis here in New Zealand. Yes. You know, right. so um, it's a good thing to kind of get your head around when it comes to food because you're right, it's not just about being diabetic, it's about how you prevent it. Right. And how you eat well. Right. And then we should all be learning from it. And, you know, if you've got any concerns about diabetes in your family, their website uh, is a fantastic resource to go and have a look at. What sort of diabetes did your mum have? So she has type 2. Okay, cool. Yeah, and she got that later on in life. So, um, you know, it's out there. Yeah, yeah, true. Which means you've got to be careful with what you're eating, but you've still got to be tasty and delicious. Good, yeah. And something the whole family all love. Uh, and what have you been up to? Because I notice you've got your own YouTube channel at the moment, your website, jacksfoodhacks.com. Mm hmm I and have. You've got to go and check that out because that is hilarious. <laughs> well, it's just me in my kitchen going, bloody hell, what am I going to do now? So... <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it is good fun. And you've got some good tips too. Yeah, and it's all about what it is really basically, Mike. I mean, I'm not joking about, but it's about telling people how to cook today when we don't have a lot of time. That's right. Do you know what I mean? So it's how to prep really quickly, how to cook really quickly, and to eat really well with a lot of fun. People forget, with Master Chef and My Kitchen Laws, they forget that food is supposed to be fun. That's right. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And we're having fun. Mark's having fun, just chopping. Oh, look at that. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, we're what a professional. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful. All what the same size. Bit of olive oil? Yeah, bit of olive oil. So all the same size. So they all cook at the same size, at the same time, I should say. Bit of olive oil, not too much. Give that a toss. A tiny little bit of salt and pepper. And what I've got to say about the book as well, it, you know, it's, done, it's had a nutrition analyse, all of the recipes. Right. So it's, you know, it really concentrates on fats, salts and sugar. So what happens now is it goes into the oven. Yeah. And... <laughs> Then we'll make some pesto. We'll toss it in some pesto. Mm -hmm. All that flavour. Yes, and then, all that flavour. Oh, I all like that. Flavor. Yeah, good. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to make do it in a pesto mortar and pestle. Mortar mm -hmm. and pestle. Um, and so we'll toss it in the old um, pesto. Comes back out again. Salmon goes on top, back into the oven. All of those lovely fats will go into those vegetables. Oh, yeah. And then you end up with this divine... Meal. Oh, I love the dancing as I well. Can't help it. <laughs> it's like every reality show rolled into one here <laughs> on the cafe, isn't it? <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we'll keep bashing away those cashews. We'll come back and get the next steps to this delicious meal in just a few minutes. 
lovely food, flavoursome and fun. This is this is everything a cooking segment should be, Jax Hamilton. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lots of flavour, lots yeah. of banging personality. That's right, and Mark working hard here. <laughs> That's right. And my mum always told me, when the food's got colour, it's got a lot of flavour. So, oh, there you so go. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I'm just saying. I'm not saying okay. you're tasteless. Okay, so we've got what have we got in the in the oven? I've forgotten already what we cooked earlier. Really. So we've got the chopped veggies in the oven, That's so they're right. coming up to temperature, and now we're gonna make some pesto. Nice. Now the good thing about pesto is traditionally it's basil and pine nuts. Mm -hmm. I love cashew nuts, Mark loves cashew nuts, so you can mix it up. Mix it up. So if you've got like a bounty of like veggies or herbs in your garden, you can bang them in instead of using the basil. Okay, great. Yeah. Nice. I just, I just do whatever you want. Yeah. Mark, what, what, what do you call these nuts? Cashew. 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 Um, <laughs> funny accents. Um, okay, and you know, because this is diabetic, diabetic friendly, do you have to watch anything with your nuts? With your nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounded random, yeah. but you know, is there any, you know, do you, you don't want them over salty or anything, or does that not matter? No, you don't want them over salty, so. <laughs> <laughs> See what I've got to put. I with. know, <laughs> and I'm a professional. You know that. So no, so you want to use unsalted cashew nuts. Okay, good. Yeah, and yeah. also if you can, if you get them and they're not roast, roasted, mm. you can dry roast them in the pan, and that brings up a lot of flavour okay, as well. Nice. So you, what, what we're trying to do is we're not trying to sac sacrifice the flavour. That's right. Okay, so we're using unsalted cashew nuts, so you can use any unsalted nuts in there. Brilliant. But the, traditionally, it's pine nuts. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Mark's chopped that basil, and it smells great too. Doesn't it smell lovely? Yeah. So a little, little bit of olive oil. We'll mix that around. We're going to put some lemon juice in there. We've got garlic in there as well. And we're going to pop basil in. Yeah. And you can do this in a food processor or with a hand blender. Okay. When you use a hand blender, though, be careful because often it shoots back in your face. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we yeah, don't want that. Some <laughs> no. green, uh, yeah. And it's so, it's so delicious. And you can keep it in the fridge for a couple of days, which is really nice. And oh. it's an instant flavour. Nice. Well, we've got a food processor out of the bag. We just like watching Mark work. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, you're going to get some nice guns up there. Yeah, that's why he's getting some of that, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, and it does smell amazing. Mm, it does. The good thing about pesto as well, Mike, is that you can, you know, you can pop a little bit on top of some soup, you can put some on, you know, on a, some salad, you can put it on a platter, you know, if you're going to have a, a sandwich, all good, or we're going to get it out of the oven. Yeah, we're going to get the veggies okay. out. Okay, oh, it's smelling lovely. Oh, it's really yeah, yeah, cool, you grab that. Oh, they Three. smell good. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah, good. lovely. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the pesto. Yes. And we're just going to put a spoonful of that through our veggies. Okay, just mix that mix through. Mix it up, yeah. yeah. Just so because the, the tray's warm, that uh, pesto will break down and spread through those flavours. Look, That's while nice. you're doing that, Jax, so many great chefs have been part of this book, which is fantastic. Not, not just this recipe, but two others. Do you recommend that people should buy it and get it in their homes? I do. Nice. I tell you what, because yep. there's lots of contributions, which is amazing, but also what they've done is they've taken some of those really old-fashioned recipes and made them new. Brilliant. OK. OK, we have to go. We'll talk more soon, and we'll see you towards the end of the show with the finished product. And we have none of that fake stuff here on the cafe, including the food, which is always smelling amazing, like this. Mark and Jax. Thank you, Jax Hamilton. You're very welcome. Brilliant. What are you going to be doing on Monday, Mark? Right, on Monday, I've got Chinese broccoli beef.